We have a theme each year. And so the theme this year was on top of the world. And one of the reasons why we picked that as our theme is because if you think about Six Flags today, we're not a U.S. or North American company. We are truly a global company. And, you know, we, we are in the process of building parks, many parks, outside the, the U.S. I'm going to spend a little bit more time in, uh, in detail on that in a moment. So if you think about Six Flags, hopefully you think about innovation. And over the years, we've really shown that innovation is key. It's, innov it's key because it's what gets people excited, gets people to come to the park. And so that's why we believe that it's key to make sure that we stay innovative, that we continue to in invest money uh, in, in new rides and new you know, exciting thrills for people. And so I'm going to take you, and I'm going to go through this quickly because there's a lot of slides, down memory lane. And I think a lot of you will, will know and recognize a lot of these pictures. So obviously the, uh, a great uh, carousel now at, at uh, Uber, Georgia. Uh, it dates back a long time. I don't think anybody was probably around back at that time. So, and again, our, uh, the first regional theme park in the world at uh, Uber, Texas. Uh, the uh, the first pay one price, look at that, $2.90. <laughs> so we've gone up a couple bucks since then. <laughs> There's great rides, mine train, loom ride, parachute ride, vertical looping coaster. So a lot of things. A lot of records, a lot of very well, firsts in the, in the industry. American Eagle, great first Iron Wolf, Batman the Ride, Superman, The Escape, great, great coaster. So as you, as you see, there's been a number of rides throughout you know, the system that have been records, have been first. And what our goal is to continue making sure that we do this every single year. King the Cop. All Goliath. Texas Giant. One of the first. I just spoke to Very successful. Lex Luthor, Drop Ride, the Iron Rattler right here. Oh, yeah. Skyscraper, yeah. 200, 400 feet. The Goliath in Chicago, great. Another great Drop Ride. Spend a little bit more time on on uh, VR and actually, you know, VR VR is is innovative. Uh, our guests love it. We'll continue to actually you know work with VR and make sure that it becomes you know a great new thrill for, for people. One of the things that we learned though on VR, you know, when you when you're kind of you try to lead innovation, it's a learning curve. And one of the things we learned on VR last year was. Don't put it on one of your big rides. <laughs> we promise you we will not do that. And then the new ride hit up yesterday. <laughs> that on this magic mountain, just most coasters on the planet. <laughs> so 2016 was really a good year for us. And it was a good year because it was our seventh year of record performance. And I don't think a lot of companies out there today can actually say that. When you look at where this company came from, I think that says a lot, not only to the innovation and the rides, but the people, the organization that we had at Six Flags. And it actually starts with, if you look at our attendance in 2016, you'll see here that we set a record over 30 million in attendance at our parks. So if you think back to the prior record for this portfolio of parks, it went all the way back to 2001. 
on. So we were really, really proud of that accomplishment. <coughs> and one of, we did it because we had some great capital. And again, our strategy, our philosophy is to have something new and exciting in every single park every year. Something that we can offer to our guests. And it, you know, when, when uh, I joined Six Flags and we looked across all the parks, there were some parks that hadn't had new capital in 10 years, a decade. And so, you know, our, our, our focus is we're going to have something at every single one of our parks that guests will be excited about. And one of the things that we've been investing in, and I hope you know everyone really enjoys the, the events at Six Flags, but Fright Fest, we continue to invest in that. It's a, it's a great event for us. And then Holiday in the Park, we keep adding that to more and more. And it's great because it, it expands the, the operating season. And so our, the, the success around these events and if you look six years ago, the fourth quarter was a lost quarter for us. It was typically the off season. And it has become one of our more profitable quarters. So we're, we uh, love events. We'll continue to uh, in, invest in, in our events. So 2017. So some of the things that we're excited about for this year, we believe we're going to set another record this year. And it starts with, again, some really good capital across the, uh, the system that we're extremely proud of. Thunder Rapids right here is, is a, uh, a great uh, great ride. I have not been in, I think, how many people have actually went on it? I know most of them just about everybody. So what, so what did you guys think? It's different, and uh, so far we were interviewing some of the guests as they were coming off today, and, and uh, the guests love. So we're very excited about that. So I'm going to get this close to here. I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole system. The first time in the new Thunder Rapids Water Coaster. An amazing hybrid of roller coaster and water slide. Plummet downhill and blast uphill. A totally unique, utterly thrilling, one-of-a-kind water coaster. Suddenly, going uphill became just as much fun as going downhill. And then, and then our new ride, Wonder Woman, at uh, Discovery Kingdom. We're, and, and if anyone has not ridden either this ride or the one that we have at Over Texas, it is an incredible, incredible ride. And, you know, when you look at it, you really can't get the feel for what it really feels like until you get on this ride. And it is just an incredible experience. Six Flags introduces Wonder Woman, Lasso of Truth. Soars seven miles an hour and plug 15 stories again and again as you discover the truth of your own courage. Fly high with the world's most iconic female superhero as you battle the forces of chaos and deceit on Wonder Woman, Lasso of Truth. Go be, go Six Flags. And then the, uh, the Joker ride, again, a, a fantastic ride, started here at uh, Fiesta, and we, we've rolled that out to uh, a number of our parks, and again, every, every year continues to really tr uh, draw a great media in our guest load. And,
top of the world. Uh, here's, here's the uh, VR again. What we've decided to do is really focus VR more on our drop rides and less on our, on our roller coasters. And we've expanded our footprint and opened up two new parks this year. It's our 19th and our 20th park. And it's a beautiful water park uh, in Huastepec, Mexico, which is just south of, of Mexico City. It's a fantastic property, very, very large water park, the largest water park that we have in, in our system. And so we're thrilled to, to have that as part of the Six Flags family. And we're very thrilled to have Waterworld back into the Six Flags family. And that's a, uh, it's a, a great water park uh, nearby our, our Discovery Kingdom park. And so our strategy is going to be to continue to look at opportunities that we may have, particularly on the water park front, look with locations close by our, our theme park. So you know, we'll, con we'll continue to, uh, to focus on this overall strategy. And then from the success of our events like Fright Fest and Holland Day in the Park, we've launched a new event, Mardi Gras, and we launched it at our, our park in Mexico. We launched it right here at Fiesta, Texas. And it was a huge success. Our guests loved it. I, I, I read all the, uh, the guest feedback, and I, I, can tell you, I don't think there was, I, I saw one negative comment from guests regarding Mardi Gras. They loved it. So we're going to continue to roll that out across the system, and we're doing it in, in St. Louis uh, this summer. One of the, the great things about Mardi Gras is you don't really have to do it around a specific time, right? Because it's all about a party. And, and people want to have a party any time of the, of the year. So we're very excited about this. And we see this uh, being another big event for us uh, across uh, all of our parks. So here's a little. It's a party every day with the rest of Texas with Mardi Gras Festival and Parade with authentic collards, floral, spicy Cajun food, hurricane cocktails, live music, and thousands of free meats. Go back y'all to go six flags. <laughs> and people love beats. <laughs> Kept up to date about what we're doing, but 
we have a great opportunity from an international perspective. And it starts with our brand. And our brand, we did a, a, a study of our brand. It was actually, it was an independent third party study that came back and looked at our brand outside North America. It looked at actually all of the brands. And it, our brand was slightly below Disney in brand awareness and well above others in, in the industry. And so the, the, the power of our brand, as well as our expertise in designing, building, and ultimately you know, in the management of theme parks, makes us a great partner for people outside the US to build parks. And so we've been you know, focused on expanding that. China, we've announced four parks to date in China. Uh, and it, it, when I think about China, the population of China is five times the US. And they have a fraction of the theme parks that we do here. So I think that opportunity is huge. And I'll, I'll give you a, a just, just one fact. If you look at all of our addressable market, Six Flags Parks within the US, it's about 180 to 200 million people. It's a lot of people. Our park outside of Shanghai, that one park has an addressable market of 150 million people, just that one park. And so we think that the, the opportunity here is, is significant. This is uh, our, our first park in China. It'll be in Haiyan, just outside of uh, Shanghai. You'll see here, it's a, it's a beautiful setting right on the sea. This park will be massive. It'll be larger than any of our parks here in the US. It's a park that will be geared towards probably six plus billion in attendance per year. And uh, it'll, it'll be a theme park, a water park, and probably, I think, in time, even have, uh, have more parks in, in this, this uh, location. The other is Chongqing, another uh, uh, great opportunity for us in, in China. And again, pro we'll probably have multiple parks in, uh, in this location. So very excited about that. And then Dubai. We're in the process of uh, building a, a park in Dubai. If you look at, uh, I think probably most people are probably familiar with the, uh, the parks that have already uh, been developed there and open. Uh, we'll be part of phase two, so we're very excited about this, you see. We've got a great location. It's down towards the, uh, the bottom, but right next to the, uh, the hotel and the, uh, the restaurant areas. So very excited about that opportunity as well. You'll see here, this is a schematic of uh, the Dubai property. And I show this because it's what's interesting. As we've gone out and we've talked to our partners, and we've done the feasibility studies and all of the analysis and everything, before we even open up a park. It comes back as they want the Western feel. They want to see you know, a park that's similar to what we have here in the US. Now there's gonna be a lot of differences, particularly on the culinary side, but you'll see here what they wanted. They wanted every single one of these themed areas named after one of our parks here in the US, because that was extremely important to them. So 2018, I think, is going to be another incredible year for us. And you'll see here that uh, we will have five record-breaking rides for North America's first in 2018. lineup that we've got for 2018. So let me talk a little bit about those five reps. Oh, well, no, I guess, I guess it was a process. Uh, <laughs> 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 okay. Couple months. It's a couple months. Uh, all about it. But, yeah, we, are, we are really, really uh, excited. So with that, uh, that kind of wraps it up. And I'm going to open it up for uh, for Q and A.